I know it's been a minute, but you still stay strong. Yes, it's been a minute, but you still held on. So keep moving, keep climbing. It won't be long. Keep laughing, believing you're right where you belong. Cause it's y'all, y'all, and I'm back. Oh, yes, again. I'm back, y'all. <laughs> Hey, beauty babies, it's your girl, y'all, and uh-huh, 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 I'm back again. Came to do this haul video for you of highlighters that I have gotten recently since the last time I saw you, and it has been a minute, been a minute. If you didn't watch my winter giveaway video, I've been gone for um, a while because I got married. April 30th was my wedding date, so that's why you guys haven't seen me for a while, okay? And I am trying to get myself back into the swing of things. So I'm going to do this haul video for you of highlighters uh, that I have gotten recently, okay? I'm going to start with the um, Bobbi Brown highlighter that um, I got at the CCO in um, Myrtle Beach, okay? This is my first Bobbi Brown product ever, and I'm really, really so pleased with it. This is how it looks. Isn't that pretty? This is the Shimmer Brick in apricot shimmer brick compact in apricot i love cco stores because you can get high items high end items excuse me at a very discounted rate sometimes you can get them 25 percent off sometimes they're half off sometimes they're like um a whole 75 percent off and some items i did get that were just that cheap and there's nothing wrong with them a lot of times the um actual product itself is being discontinued or they had um, a surplus and it wasn't really moving like it should be moving and they need to get something else in and move that out so they go to the CCO stores um, for people to buy and a lot of outlets that's where you find a CCO store as an outlet and it stands for cosmetic company I don't know what the I think the O is a part of the, com the word company so I love this I'm just gonna swatch it for you I'm going to try to do each color by itself. There's each color by itself, and then right there is all of the colors together. Very beautiful. Look at that. Just gorgeous. Really, really love this palette, especially for a woman of color. It, the apricot just really plays well, whether you use them separately or together. It's just a really, really nice highlight. It, it might be subtle, it's not super glimmery, but it shows up. It is very, very nice, and it will show up on the skin. Just really, really lovely, and show you that again. Okay, that's the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick and Apricot. Now, for something that's less expensive, but also is quite beautiful. This is the Physician's Formula Shimmer Brick in the color Vegas Strip. I got hip to this from being an Instagram junkie. I found, um, you know, I'm always looking for dupes and great highlighters and lots of products that um, 
have a good bang for your buck you know beauty on a budget I'm all about that I love that so I saw this and I was like you know what that is gorgeous it's not easy to find I think I found this in a Target okay so it's gonna be in a store that carries a lot of so what I'm gonna do is on my other hand I'm gonna do the same thing do them individually and then do one strip together So there are the swatches. Very, very pretty. Again, great highlighter quality. They last long. Nice shimmer. And together, see that strip going down? That's all of the colors together. Very nice. This is it in comparison to the apricot. really pretty now of course they're not dupes at all the apricot is showing you a different hue than the Vegas strips but the same kind of concept and very comparable quality I'm just saying in the way they feel in the way they go on the Bobbi Brown is a little bit more intense um, in the way of pigmentation than the Physician's Formula, but very nice. Very nice. I like them both. Okay, moving along to the next one. Okay, the next one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. I know you've seen this if you've been watching YouTube videos like a million times. Now you're going to see it a million and one time right here. Yes, I'm going to show it to you. It has four colors from the top down. Sunburst, Golden Bronze, dripping in gold and bubbly my favorites are golden bronze dripping in gold and bubbly I do use sunburst on occasion when I want an extra high beam just right at the top but for the most part I stick with these three I build my uh, highlighters just like I build my blushes just like I build my lipsticks I'm a builder so I will start with the bronze first in this section right here and then I will put either bubbly or dripping in gold on top or sometimes both um, right above that but blend it in you know going upward um, and I just happen to love that look I like the look of light being in certain spots uh, so that when you see me there's like light not like high beam light but like soft glow light in certain spots like right here not just here but here is a different kind of light like I'm not gonna put bright highlighter there mm -mm. I'm gonna use a bronzer a low light kind of soft soft shimmer right there um, that's just me I just love that and I'll put highlighter here and um, here on my cubist bow and I put a little bit there depending upon how I feel also highlighters are great for the inner tear duct area when you don't want to use something in the color of the eyeshadow you have on but you want the illusion of light there hitting the inner corners of your eye highlighter is good for that um, just use a light hand 
usually you can use your index finger and just place it there and then get a brush and um, blend it in or depending upon your eye shape you can use a brush to just place it there you might want to put it on the rim or you might not depends on what your eye shape is play around with the look until you get it to where you really like it and it doesn't look weird <laughs> that hey that's how I learn this palette is $40 I'm gonna swatch it for you very similar to the Las Vegas strip Vegas strip by Positions formula right put you in the same mind of that these um, highlights are very intense a little bit goes a long way they are um, highly pigmented they have a softness to them but they're but it's also like a, a, a dry soft um, they're not as soft as some eyeshadows can be they're a little lighter and a little drier but I still feel a little of that velvetiness to them um, that I happen to like. Uh, if you have textured skin like I do, I have polyps here in this area, they still show up really nicely. Although you might need to use a different kind of brush. I use a tulip shaped brush. I don't use a fan all the time because sometimes I don't like the way fans look. Um, you have to play around with the brushes to see which works for you. But I really, really like this palette. I think it's worth the, the money because you're only paying $10 a highlighter. And um, most times highlight compacts, you pay $30 just for one. So this is a steal. There is a new one that is out. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on it. I don't know when. But it looks really, really nice. So check that one out if you want to start with that one instead of this one. Or get both. It's up to you okay now that being said there is another <laughs> highlight palette I want to show you if you're a diva on a budget like me this is from um, B Bella okay this is called the glow dust palette the glow dust palette and I want you to take a look at this here look at that do you see that yeah there are one two three four five highlighters in here and one bronzer that's like a bronzer without shimmer the rest have shimmer look at that do you see the pan size this is this is sick this only cost me twenty dollars I think and you get one more highlighter than you get in the Anastasia palette and you pay $20 less okay you want to know what's the quality like it's like virtually the same I mean I'm just saying I got both of them yeah I reach for this like more times than anything I'm telling you, I reach for this a lot more I think it's because it has uh, almost the same colors as the other one, but it has an extra one. I love this rose gold. It's like a rosy. Oh, I am in love with this one right here. And I just love all of them. This one is like a duo chrome kind of highlight. That is what? A duo chrome highlight, huh? That's what they did. This one that has an iridescence in it. Yeah. Um, this is like a bronzer, a nice dark bronze. It's beautiful. This is like a real true kind of um, beachy gold. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. I'm going to swatch it for you. That is just crazy. Do you see that? The intensity. I did not dig hard. And they are popping off of my hand like an eyeshadow. I'm, sh I'm sure you could use these as eyeshadows. That is ridiculous. Do you see this bronzer? Oh, God. Look at that. This is that rose gold one. This is the one right below it. That's that. It has like a duochrome kind of texture to it. This is the matte one. 
And this is the one that has like a peachy iridescence to it. This is the true kind of gold, true gold one. And this is that dark, deep bronze one, which is gorgeous. Look at that, how it looks on my, on my chocolate skin. My caramel skin. Do y'all see that, y'all? Look at that. That is nuts. That is bananas. I'm looking at it like, huh? It's bananas, y'all. It's like, what? Twenty some dollars? What? Yeah. When I mean I'm so blown away by that. And um I wish that they were a bit the company I'm saying was a bit bit more communicative with its customers like some of the other companies are that I deal with. But you know, hey, you win some, you lose some. I don't have a huge channel. I don't have a huge Instagram channel. And a lot of times those are the channels that get attention, you know. But I'm still going to promote this company because they make a great product. Their customer service is really good. You get your stuff fast. It was packaged very well. And you get a great bang for your buck. I just pray that they don't start jacking up the prices when they get more popular, okay? Because I believe they're... You know, I can't say where the, where the products come from, but you get that similar kind of packaging. Okay, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know y'all know what I'm talking about. But I like this company. Love this Glow Dust palette. Okay, let me move on because I'm at 17 minutes. And I got one more highlighter. Oh, I just had to show y'all that one more time. Okay. 20 something dollars, what? One more... Okay, last but not least is a palette I just got today in the mail. It is from City Colors. It's called the Timeless Beauty Palette. Now before I show this to you, any of you who've been hanging in with me, who have been with me from the beginning, you will recall my love for the City Color Timeless Beauty 4 Quad, no I think it was even 5, 5 Quad Bronzer, which of course is in the drawer but I didn't take it out to show you and I'm sorry about that but it came in a strip and it it is beautiful I mean I love that thing like if I was to take it out now I probably start using it again like cray cray it was such a gorgeous versatile highlight palette that I used to use it on my eyes all the time it was like my go-to eyeshadow to just put on and run out the door great 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 I don't understand why they discontinued the quads that's something I have to say to City Color if any of the reps are watching. You guys need to be more mindful of the products that your customers cling to and love and adore. Stop discontinuing everything just to hop on the latest trend. I know you want to try to recoup your money as much as you can, but if you develop a product that's banging that people love, let that stay in your arsenal and then drop some of the other things that don't sell well. But these things like highlighters where you offer a variety of colors, especially for women of color, we will keep coming back. Okay? So don't drop those things. I was upset when that was discontinued. <laughs> but they came out with this timeless palette. And this is how it looks. This is I just got this out the box, so I have to take this wrapper off. And there's another piece of plastic <laughs> right on top of that. They want to make sure you get it intact with no boo-boos. All right. And this is their Timeless Palette. Voila. It has blushes and highlighters. There are the top row are all blushes and then the bottom three are highlighters. Isn't that gorgeous? Now of course my makeup lovers you know this is putting you in the mind of the Jaqueline Hill palette with Becca which I'm sure this is what they were doing. Um, 
just to capitalize on that. Hey, I, I don't know a better word to say. Um, for all of us who are on a budget and can't afford um, that palette at this time, we can get our hands on this. This was, was this $20? Yes. Yes. This was twenty dollars. I got it during the memorial sale, which was was thirty five percent off, and I just had to. I just got a few more things from them, which which I'll have in a different haul. But I wanted to include this with the highlighter palette haul. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, swatch it right quick. This is my first time swatching it, y'all. I'm doing this. We we discovering this together. Those are the blushes. My hand is so shiny. That is like a real color of my skin kind of highlight. Those are the highlighters. Let me move my big head out of the way. Can y'all see that? So the blushes are here. They're very nice. They are light and they're powdery. Okay, I'm just going to be honest. They're powdery blushes. So you just want to dab your... I would use a flat brush. That's just... I'm just being honest. I would use a flat um, blush brush. One that's like flatter. And pat it against the blush. And then pat it on your face. And then use um, buffing motions to move it around only because it's so powdery if you get a brush like this and try to put it on it's going to go everywhere the only way you can try to control it is to put it in the very center and kind of dot it and then swirl you can do that if your brush is domed you can dot it and then swirl it lightly but like getting a big fluffy brush and just doing all this you're going to have blush everywhere because they're very powdery. But they, the pigmentation is very decent as far as blushes go. Um, and I like, I like the color selection. They will play well on women of color. I like it. Very spring timey. Now the highlighters to me, they seem to be more on the subtle side. Okay. I don't get a lot of pow when I put them on my hand it's kind of like oh that's pretty but it's not like woo like the glow dust palette was and considering this is $25 too like the glow dust was almost 20 20 you know <laughs> but you did you do get four blushes okay and three highlighters that's more than it's offered in the glow dust palette so okay my verdict is still out on that but I do really love it. I know I will get a lot of use out of this. It's going to be great for travel. I won't have to carry any blushes for the summertime. When me and my hubby go to Myrtle Beach, I won't need any to carry any blushes because I'll have this. I'll just carry this and good to go. So if you like soft, subtleness. Now, that's not to say you can't get this to pop because they're popping on my hand. They're just not super glimmery, but they're they're popping. There's no primer or anything. Um, a good trick if you want to get that kind of highlight to the moon is to set your face with the your setting spray and then put your highlight on on top of it because then it'll be wet and it just like pow. That's what I used to do with them a lot. And that's it for my highlight palette haul. Wow, 25 minutes. God, that's a long time. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Got many more videos to go. So, you ladies, you gents, my people, hang in there with me. I love y'all, and I will see you in the next video.